Hello everybody, Obring here. Um, now, last time I had some shenanigans in the end, not the end, the nether, and just sort of fucked around a whole lot. Uh, but now that I'm done with that, uh, I finally have enough blaze rods and enough, um, whatchamacallits, uh, obsidian and ender pearls and stuff to actually make myself an ender tank and get, get some power going. Um, as you'll see though, I, I'm really short on string. I don't, I don't need string, I just need wool. Um, so, I couldn't find much of my string, my, whatchamacallit, my farm over there, or mob thing over there isn't doing as good of a job as I wanted to. So I went ahead and found, punched some grass until I found myself some flax seeds and some honeyplant seeds. Um, and both of these you can get string from. Uh, flax seeds, it's a lot easier to do it from. As you can see I have uh, came with my own bone meal. Um, because flax seeds, you just plant, you punch, and you get a shit ton of seeds and a shit ton of string just off the bat. So it's really, really easy. So even in from here, like I had, I had one seed. From that one seed, I, I'm now already up to 13 and 20 strength. Hanukkah, on the other hand, is a whole lot slower. So I got more seeds. I got a leaf. And you don't get string from Hanukkah seeds um, like you do from flax. You get you get those leaves, and those leaves are what you need. So if I do this enough. Um, do, do, do. Let's get some more some more leaves going here. Okay. Okay, and so from here, um, you can take the leaves and make them in a twine. And I think for four twine, yeah, four twine gets you a string. So I mean, it's not. It's it's a little bit harder to automate, but it you you can. You can do it with, um, I don't know why I did that. You can do it with, with Hennequin seeds. It's just a whole lot easier and faster with flax seeds. So I'm going to plant myself some flax seeds so that I have plenty of string going forward. Um, snags and potatoes. Uh, today's plan is to get these ender tanks going, uh, as well as a couple of chunk loaders. Uh, go get myself some fuel and get some energy started. Um, and then the other thing from there that I need to do uh, is I need to start working on a way to get myself more food. Um, I'm constantly starving. I, I really, really am always, always hungry. Um, I feel like farming is going to be the best way for me to... I'm like paranoid of shit popping out at me here. Sure, might close this up. Um, I'm constantly far starving. I really need to find a good way to farm food. Farming, I think, would be the best way for me to do that. Um, so I'm gonna start working on farm. And there's usually I would I would automate farms much later because I wait till I have um, golems to do it. Um, the straw golems from uh, what you call it. Um, craft um, will plant seeds for you, and so they're a really easy way to get yourself um, food. But it's it's at this point it's looking like that's getting further and further down the line. So I'm gonna here we go. I feel safer now. So I'm gonna not not do that this time. I'm gonna do something slightly different than my usual build. As you can see, like. God, I hate creepers. That creeper just fucked up everything. So, what I'm gonna need is um, right in here, torches, 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 torches. Okay. So I need some string first of all. No, not some string, some wool. So let's get me some wool. It was a baby. Okay, five, five wool. And I am gonna die. Two of them. I'm gonna die black. Um, you don't need to dye them. You can just throw them straight into the, the recipe and like you can get it. So I'll show you here. I think that's the recipe. Yeah. So you can see see how the top of that is white? If you use a color rule, it'll start off with that color. I want them both to be black tanks. Um, and ender tanks are really cool. I'll get to show them off pretty soon. 
the other thing then that I need is a pump to get the oil out. So let's make ourselves one of those. Pump, pump, pump. Um, so a lot of iron, looks like. A lot of iron. Let's grab... I feel like I had more iron than that earlier. Ugh, iron, iron, iron. Why? Why am I always low on everything? I can't wait till the point where I can stop worrying about being low on so many things. Um... Let's see here. Let's start by making me. I think I need one gear, and it needs to be a iron gear. So stone gear, and then iron. Okay. Let's see, and I make you need to make a mining wolf first. And mining wells are actually pretty cool. Um, Dire Wolf made like a mining well. Um, quarry kind of like kind of thing it's it's pretty intense i love it um it does use a lot of um computer craft which i really like computer craft but, um if and i think i would maybe even enjoy it more if i actually knew how to program but i don't so i end up just doing stupid shit instead of actually making anything cool with it whenever i play with computer craft I, I, Pretty much, I fail at computer craft. I also seem to fail at having having resources. So I need to make me some glass, potato, potato, potato. Um, let's get. I don't need that much glass. I just need a little bit of glass. So that's gonna cook up, so that I can I have my mining well. And mining wells are, are nifty. You can. Uh, they, they require some energy, but you put them down and they dig in a straight line, like just just straight down to bedrock. So they're 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 really cool, um, and that's pretty much what the pump's gonna do, except that it's gonna pull water out. The other thing that I need, I'm gonna need some of this. The other thing that I'm definitely gonna need is um, some engines for to power the pump. Um, I find that the best way to the best kinds of engines to have in my opinion are I think let's see I need four of them uh, which is four I need eight one two three four five six seven eight, eight of those um, for pumps I don't I don't feel like you need to go too crazy with pumps um, you can just use redstone um, redstone engines which are pretty easy to make in I'm not going to show you the recipe because I, I, I just know the recipe already. I've made so many of these before. Uh, and except that I don't remember how to do some of these things because I'm a noob. Uh, I need one, two, three, four of you. No, eight of them. I need eight gears. There we go. Eight gears. And I need more wood. Let's just turn it on. Okay. And then I actually need glass. I need more glass, so let's get another piece of coal. Uh, unfortunately, the creeper took out my hobbyist steam engine, so these things are out of power. Um, which is why I'm using I'm using that. Um, but let's finish this up, which is going to be we need another tank. Um, and these tanks are actually they work. You can place them in the world, and they work as tanks. Um, hopefully, I think I can break them. And they work as tanks, so you can actually fill them with liquids, and then you can't pick them up and pick up whatever's inside, but you can use them for like, for storing liquids. Uh, they're, they're neat, but they're nowhere near as cool as Psycraft tanks, which is what I'm going to eventually be using. Um, let's see if I remember right. I'm going to take four glasses, all I need, and then that should give us, yep, redstone energy cells. And then along with that, I'm going to need... Do 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 lovers. Somewhere I have lovers. One, two, three. I think I I think I only need three lovers or two lovers, but I'm gonna take four just in case. Get some building blocks. I'm gonna take you. Empty you first though. Look at that. Fun stuff. Um, I'm gonna take you. Do you have anything interesting inside of you? We have a lot of stuff. Dump a decent amount of it there. Okay, and then what did I have in these guys? 
Okay, so this is where some of that nice stuff ended up at. Alright, I'm gonna organize myself and then get ready to head out to the Uber Big. Hopefully, well, we'll hopefully be at Uber Big. Or a little spout and I can get a whole lot of stuff out of. So, I'm gonna get myself ready and I will meet you when I start cruising over there. Hey guys, so on my way to find the soil well, um, I have been a bump into um, what I think is um, a Thomcraft dungeon. You see the, the little wisp in my mini map? I think this is one right here. Um, yeah, there, see, there's the entrance. So I want to go in there before I do. I don't want it to be night anymore. So I went ahead, killed some sheep. Gonna make a bed. This this is something that I hadn't realized before, but if you have that, that part of your crafting grid ready, it'll it'll just make it for you, which is really really cool with the um, portable crafting table. So let's make it day. Uh, and get rid of this bed. And here we go. Yeah, this is gonna be dangerous. Because wisps are just not oh not friendly. And not friendly creatures. Okay, so we're gonna try to light this up as best we can. Oh. Hey Hobbs, you're gonna have to wait to get inside because I'm in the middle of fighting things. Like half of my window, like falling in my window on the inside. Okay, these things have ha do have chest, which is cool, but also oh god. Also very importantly they have Spawners, um, and skeleton spawners, which are good because, um, like I said, you guys are sort of repeating and not actually doing. I want a skeleton, skeleton, tier five skeleton. Oh, no, okay, you leave, 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 out, out the door, out the door, out the door. I sh you know what? Now I kind of feel safe for breaking my bed. I should have just kept my bed right there. Because then I could have not been so worried about this. Because if I died, I would just respawn right there. But instead, I'm going to respawn somewhere else. I'm busy. I am busy, and you are not letting me talk. Okay, I'm going to let that. I'm going to let myself heal here. Uh, this is. This is difficult. And these are the easy skeletons. Like I don't even want to deal with the, with the new hard skeletons. I've been playing on 1.5 or 1.6 or whatever. Ooh, you know what I did once that really helped is this. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna actually. Um, so so hopefully that'll let enough light that the spawners won't go crazy. And while they do that, I'm gonna hide right here. My cat in. So, BRB while I heal. So, in that time, when I went out and got my cat, because he was sitting in front of my door, yelling at me, but he wanted to get inside. So I go out there, I realize the front door is open. And he's just sort of standing there. I don't know. I guess he, like, unless I'm letting him in, he doesn't, he doesn't care much for being let in. Um, and... When I go get him, he just runs away. So, you know what? He's being a jerk. Give me a second. I need a better weapon. Oh, okay, good. Back in. Those wispy things are cool. I think they give me. They might give me magic, which would be good. Oh, yeah. I think my sword is going to be pretty close to me. No, no. No, there we go. So this this will this will make things okay. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Okay, there's a wisp. Okay, those guys are gonna kill each other. Which will be fine. This wisp will kill me. I'm not careful. Ow. Did a lot of things. They're like hella accurate. There's worse than skeletons, like they always hit the thing. Except for that one. Nice, you all murdered each other. 
I appreciate that. Alright, so three chests. In chest number one. Ooh, shiny ingots. That's good. Steel chest plate. Less good, but nice. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with steel chest plates. It's copper. Yeah, string. So, okay. And Nova Frame. So I got I got some okay stuff, I guess. Like I didn't get anything spectacular. <sighs> okay, so you know, see some of these things just don't fit into the category of things that go into a bag. Okay, that did. So they just don't fit. The other thing I should do, how much string did I? Did I saw string in there. How much string do I have? Not enough probably to make a bag. No. Not enough to make a bag, so some of this stuff's gonna have to get left behind. I vote for wood to get left behind. And iron bars to get left behind on the bags. Uh, this piece that says I want to walk you on to your chest. I need you, I suppose. Okay, so that'll, that'll get left behind for now. Um, I am going to mark this anyway because I want to get get this, get that spawner that... Actually, I might get both spawners. I might get the zombie spawner and the, and the skeleton spawner. But I only have one soul shard left, so only one of them is going to, going to be gone first, I suppose. Alright, so I was still walking. Um, I had I had to kill things on my way here just to not die of starvation. So, uh, ugh. raw pork chop. They don't have to do for now. I want a pokeball. Have I mentioned that before? I need a pokeball just to just to live. Okay. Well, at least that that went well. Like, I figured I would die here, and I, there's a lot of rubber trees here, so that'll be good when I come back. Because the next thing I'm gonna do is. Um, use some, some machines for factorization and one of them will be the um, what's it called the planter and the harvester and that is how I plan on, on at least having a decent amount of food early on um, don't know I don't know how efficient they are and I know I know that they use bone meal or there's a fertilizer that uses bone meal or something like that I don't know I don't Ha. Uh, other problem I ran into is my jetpack ran out of fuel, so I'll put chest behind. So pillar up, I guess. Pillar up. So we're gonna pillar up this thing. Uh, this is oil, if you don't know. Um, it ruins the landscape by making it look hideous. Uh, but it does. It's just really quiet. It goes from being really quiet to really loud. Maybe if I turned up my sound instead of like <laughs> being a noob. So let's give that a try. Um, I was doing a thing. Uh, yeah, this is oil. It looks awful, but it provides a decent amount of fuel. Um, and that distillery, still refinery, refinery that I made like an episode or two ago will come in handy for this. Um, the only thing is that the refinery also needs fuel, and I'm out of engines because my one engine got blown up. So once I get back, I'm going to take care of of making sure that I have enough fuel. So the way this will work is I want to I want to get my pump right above right above this center scope. This kind of works like water, except that doesn't create like an infinite pool. So if I put my pump pump here. So you know I'll put it one above just so that you can see. Um, you'll see a little a little thing go down. Okay. And that'll start sucking up oil all the way to the bottom. It won't start right away because it does need um, some sort of MJ up to it. Um, usually to, to run one of these at full power I think you can either use one sterling engine or one or oh god I don't have I don't have a jetpack. Um, one or two sterling engines, or four redstone engines. So why I would ever use a sterling engine to power a pump, I don't know. So am I going to? 
I'm gonna use redstone engines. This is what I made earlier. So. No, I wish my jetpack had run out of battery. I also realized as I was slowly, slowly, slowly walking over here that I could have just taken the nether portals to get here, or that I should have brought enough obsidian to make another nether portal over here. But, you know, live and learn, live and learn. Alright, so that's two of those. Let's see if we can do that. There we go. So, bringing down will be fun. And here we go. And we'll do this, this, this. Here, this. Okay. Uh, this will pump automatic. I think it'll start pumping out automatically into. I'm hoping it'll pump right into these pipes. Um, and I, oh, I don't I need that one. Yeah. Okay. Um, but let's find out. We're going to stick that there. I'm going to make it go up to just to check. I usually use liquid ducts just because. One, they're prettier. Did my pick break? Did my pick break and I just not realize it? Ah, there it is. Okay. I heard I heard I heard noises and I heard that happen. Alright, so if I put my tank there, um, and if it's set to blue, which I think it is right now. Yeah, set to blue. It'll start pumping out. It'll start accepting liquids. Uh, you can see, yeah, you can see it sort of. You can see the liquid sort of rising in the in the tank itself. This is a lot noisier than I thought it'd be. So now what I can do is I can take these. I can take this pump. Try to build this area. Um, take this other en under tank that I have. I'll take it back to my base and start getting it refined. So I'm gonna let that happen. How am I gonna get down? That's, a, that's an excellent question. Let's see if I can do this. I'm just like swim down the oil. Like an oil baron. This is what oil oil barons do. Was oh, that the chicken? Are you the one like fucking up? Oh right guys, I made it back to this side. Little charging of this and you need a pick. You pick, you pick. Um, let's do a pick. One, two, three. Um, you can use any of the, the like the sapphires and the rubies and the green sapphires to make like the regular tools and stuff. Uh, the green sapphire, I think, is the only one that's actually not useful for, like, anything else. Um, the sapphires and, like, the blue and green sapphires are useful in, to replace diamonds in a lot of recipes, so I almost never use those. But now that I'm on this side, um, I can take my tank, plop it down, as you can see, it's full of oil. So, with that said, I need to set up a way to... To produce some energy. Um, one of the things that I did want to do for energy was what was it? I knew I had a thing I wanted to do for energy. Um, was that bio or that diesel generator? Oh yeah, I have to show up at my refinery first. So wow, man, just shit all over the place. Uh, so I'm gonna do two things before. I can place things down. I'm gonna make myself um, another engine to power the refinery. I gotta set up the refinery and have it pumped into uh, combustion engines and hopefully some combustion engines and the, the generator and then we'll see what we do from there. So I'm gonna get some supplies ready and then I'll be back.